Hello! Um, today I'm going to show you how I wash my special effects brushes. Um, so first of all, I'm going to use Johnson's baby shampoo, but any kind of baby shampoo works well. I'm going to use 99% isopropyl alcohol, 70% isopropyl alcohol to sanitize, and some paper towels. So first of all, I've separated my brushes into ones that need to be treated with 99% alcohol first and then the second lot only need the baby shampoo. So I'm going to get out my paper towels um, and things that I'm going to use special effects, uh, things that I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol on are the things which have alcohol activated makeup um, pigments in them, um, Pax paints, adhesives, um, anything that's like gaff quart or sealers or top guard or anything that's going to leave kind of a film on the brush. So you can see this first brush I thought had some blood um, pigments on it but then it wasn't coming out with the alcohol and so it's most likely that it's um, fake blood which won't come out with the alcohol it needs water and soap. The second brush does actually have alcohol pigments on it so you can see with some isopropyl alcohol it's um, getting most of the pigments out of the brush and you need to use the alcohol to get them out because the soap and the water alone will not clean the brushes. This one has um, a bit of gaff clot residue on it which is basically the hardening substance um, in hair gels and hairsprays and the smaller brush has some um, top seal in it so to kind of get the stiffness out of the bristles I'm first going to try and remove um, any of the gaff quad or top seal with some alcohol in the paper towel and just really saturate and kind of try and break down any of the stiffness in the brush and sometimes you'll probably need to do like a couple of layers um, until you can feel the bristles soften and it feels like a lot of the um, a lot of the product is out. You may find that once it's dried it might be stiff again you might need to do it two or three times to get everything out um, which is why it's probably easier to initially try and get out a lot of the product as soon as you've finished using it rather than waiting for it to dry and then trying to clean it afterwards which is what I normally do because I, um, I finish a makeup and I'm like ah, I'll clean up later. Um, again this is uh, an adhesive brush it has some prosade on it and if you leave a lot of the prosade or adhesive to dry in the brush it's going to be really hard for you to remove and it will take a while, so I'd recommend um, cleaning the brush straight away and getting out as much of the prosade as possible, um, and then, which is what I did with this one, and then I'm just trying to get out just the last little bit of prosade that's in the bristles um, by using the alcohol to kind of break it down and a little bit of pressure to try and separate the bristles again. Um, this is a brush that I had some Pax paint in, and again, right after I finished using the Pax paint, I um, put the brush into a, a cup of water basically and try to remove as much paint as possible so there's any little bits of remnants of Pax paint so I'm going to use some alcohol to try and break it down and then go in with it with the baby shampoo as well. And this I think is a combination of um, some of the Skin Illustrator alcohol pigments combined with some um, like charcoal powder <laughs> type stuff so a lot is coming off of this brush. Uh, next I'm going to fill up um, a bowl with some warm water and I've just got a plate, I just, I'd find it saves my hand a little bit to um, put the big blob of the baby shampoo on the plate. Um, so basically you can use detergent as well, um, detergent is meant to be better for synthetic brushes which these are because they're the Delium Vegan Special Effects brushes um, but I just, I don't know, I like using baby shampoo um, which is usually better for the natural bristle brushes. So basically I dip my brush and see, you can see a lot of the red is coming out, so this one was actually blood and it didn't come out at all with the 99% alcohol but it's coming out really quickly with the soap and water, um, with the baby shampoo and water, so I just kind of swirl it around on the baby shampoo, use my hands and fingers just to give it a bit of clean. Um, I, I tend to both run it underneath the water um, and dip it into the bowl. I, I find that the water gets it cleaner but there's soap residue or baby but this baby soap residue which gets all the way up deep into the brush and then dipping it in the water is what helps to get out the, the last remnants of the baby shampoo and leave it not smelling like baby shampoo um, which is why I use both um, and also when running it under the water um, like you try not to get the water into the furrow how do you pronounce that word um, and also not to hold the brush too upside down but these brushes um, are built to withstand a lot um, and I had them for quite a few months now and I've never had any problems with them. They're working just as fine as the day I got them so they're pretty resilient so I'm a bit, I'm a bit tough on them I think. <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to go through basically all the brushes that I cleaned with the alcohol and then clean them um, with the baby shampoo just to get out everything and get them all nice and fluffy and soft and clean again. And so I usually put them in the soap and lather it up in my hands and then I will rinse it um, either under the tap first and then in the bowl or in the bowl first and on the tap. Either way I do both the tap and the bowl to try and get everything out of the bristles. Um, and the soap and water um, works really well for products that are, that are that have like blood in them or that have any of the cream colours or oil based colours. Um, any of that kind of stuff works pretty well with the baby shampoo. So this is a Pax brush so um, just giving that a pretty good rinse with the baby shampoo a few times to get out any of the Pax remnants. And again this is a gaff cloth brush and giving that like a really good soak and rinse to try and get out any of the gaff cloth that might be left in there which has been softened by the alcohol. You see this really bloody one at the end and the blood's all kind of dried and caked on but even just water by itself gets off most of the blood so you don't need anything fancy for blood, it comes off pretty easily. Um, and then the last step is to sanitize all the brushes, um, which is especially important if you're using brushes on other people. You should definitely sanitize the brushes between each person. And so for this, um, I'm using a mixture that is 70% isopropyl alcohol. So I get my 98% alcohol and I put it into a bottle um, and fill it 70% of the way. And then the other 30% I fill with distilled water. And then I've got my 70% isopropyl mix. And I put it into a cup so that I can just submerge the whole brush into the cup just make sure it saturates all the bristles and then I'll dry it on a paper towel and then with the remnants of the alcohol and paper towel I usually wipe it over um, the whole surface of the brush so that the handles um, are sanitized as well um, and then I hang it up to dry and I'll show you how I do that at the end so you can see that if some of the brushes have any um, you know blood or pigments or anything left in them this last step of sanitizing will also get those last pigments out and get it extra clean um, and I tend to work with the smaller brushes first as they absorb less of the solution um, and then use the larger brushes last so that the larger brushes don't absorb all the solution before I get around to doing the smaller brushes. Um, and once you're done, um, I hang them upside down and dry them on my towel rack and so it's pretty easy if you just use like a hair lackey and you can just use that to hang them up really fast and then it's really easy to remove them afterwards as well. So you just put it around, have it around the back and put it up the top. And then you've got a brush drying rack. Um, and then to clean my brush pouch, basically I just use a 70% alcohol solution and I wipe over it with a paper towel and then that sanitizes the surface, gets it all nice and clean. And if you have any like hard spots there like I do with the pigments, you can use the 99% to try and break that down as well. Thanks for watching, hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you guys soon, bye!